Hello ladies and gentlemen, Teveron here and welcome back to Finding Paradise where we are about to begin searching for our client, hopefully to speak with him for the very first time and find out what he actually wants. Uh, was informed that the gentleman in the hallway at the retirement home has additional dialogue. That's quite hilarious. I don't know if we're past the point that we can interact with him again, but if we're not and we get the opportunity, I will definitely go back and exhaust his dialogue. Oh. Well, I think that's him. So, I want to go see everything that we can explore before we actually interact with him and... Uh, everything that we can explore looks like absolutely nothing, so I guess we head right back out there. Hello, Colin, I presume? Colin? Oh, what the? He just disappeared? This isn't a stable copy. Let's find one we can talk to. Note, unstable copy. Do these notes give additional information or just... There's an odd instance of Colin on the most recent memories balcony. Okay, just, I guess, noting of clues? Ah. Is that the only area that opened up? Yep, looks like. We'll head down there then. There's the model plane. Any interactions? No, I guess we're just... Looking for him, and that is it. Alright, looks like the attic's blocked off, right? Oh no, we can go up here. So is he up here, or... Oh, nope. Yeah, I didn't mean to go back down there. It won't let me walk around, I guess, up here? Sure. That's fine. Bookcase is in a different location here. Still full here. Seems like you must have cleared it very recently. The one lone book, huh? Yeah. Odd fellow. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know we need to find Colin. I want to find the pre-blank version of the book. Or at least the pages that were removed from it. I think that we figured out that's what happened. Maybe. It's... What I feel, anyway. Anything else? Guess he's out in the hallway? Alright, yeah, there's nothing else up here. Now we can walk down here. I guess the blackness is blocking the entirety of the way. Alright, let's go. See, that one lady we met said that they walked out in the garden together. Maybe they're there? Where are we? Um, why is this different? Pretty sure the hall didn't look like this. Is he suffering from dementia? Dude's so old he can't even remember his own home. But isn't the machine supposed to autocorrect these kinds of spatial inconsistencies? Well, oh, hey, look. I mean, it's basically the same hall, except where their door to, to go to their room is. It goes up a long ways first. Target acquired, let's go. Aw, but you looked nice. Meh, I like it better this way. Okay. Turning on entity interaction. Alright, Eva. Fine, you can look how you want to look. It's only fair. I have lost control. Colin? What is going on here? My name is Dr. Ava Rosalind. I am a memory traversal specialist at Sigmund Core. And my colleague here is Dr. Hatton. Dr. Manhattan. <laughs> uh-huh. You're wearing a few too many clothes for that, sir. 
You are Dr. Neil Watts. How do you know? Your name tag. This isn't what it looks to be, is it? Y yes, Colin. Your procedure has started. Good. It's not just me, then. Okay, that's an odd sentence. What do you mean it's not just you? That thinks this is a weird perception? Or are you saying there's other people in your head? Something felt off about this place. It's as if I'm both here and far away at once. Okay. Either this isn't where I think I am, or my head's going downhill faster than I thought. More like both, actually. <laughs> Fair enough. My wife and son. How are they handling it? There. There, right? Yeah, but they aren't prancing around, that's for sure. Although, given the circumstances, I guess I'd be worried if they were. Listen, there's not a lot of time, and it's best if we get started. You are the most recent slice of Colin that we can load up. And the only relatively viable version that we can interact with for info. So, I hope you can assist us in completing the mission. Of course, why would I not? Good. I'll keep your state saved so we won't need to have this conversation again. Psst. Run and save on his state. Yes, your highness. Now, in order to help you relive your life here to fulfill your last wish, we are going to first backtrack through your memories to connect your timeline. And then we'll be able to transfer your desire all the way to your younger self and run the algorithm for you to live your life here all over again to fulfill your wish. Anyhow, Colin, we need your help. What do you want? To jump between memories, we need mementos. Fresh and full of life. They're important... They're items of importance to you that connect one memory with another. Do you have one here that we could jump with? Whoa, slow down. We still don't even know what his wish is. What is it that you want anyway, Colin? Actually, I think I can answer both your questions with this. It's his Sigmund contract. The text is rather blurry, but... It is a memento. Sweet, let's move. Are you going to read it and see what his wish is? Uh, maybe? Do we need to get memory links? Nope, looks like we're going to get right into this first one. This memento's barrier shatters by itself since it's so recent. But the next one won't be so easy. Uh-huh. We'll need to charge it up first. Uh, not yet. I do want to just make sure we're not missing anything. And apparently, we're not going to get to read that contract. Can we go in here? No. Can we get all the way back to Mr. Gentleman in the Hall here? And interact with him? We can go to the door. Come on. Come out, memory person. Or not. That's fine. Probably can't access the elevator either. Nope. Alright then. Enough piddling around. Let's go. Yeah, we'll charge it up first. Ooh, this is different. Memories go the farthest when linked together. Alright. What? Oh, we slide them? What exactly? I'm not for sure. 
Are we kind of match threeing? Okay. Have I screwed it up then? Oh no, we can we can do this. All right. Uh huh. Maybe I have screwed it up. Let's see. No, we can do this. Okay. All right. So it's a, it's an awkward version of a match three. That's fine. Cool. A little bit different than the last game. Yes. Uh, yeah. Activate. If by activate you mean read. Thanks. We might come back for your help again. Did he even hear that? He was frozen, wasn't he? I saw... I saw a shadow to the right of Colin there. Right after we disappeared. Is that relevant? I don't remember ever seeing anything like that in the first game. Is someone following us around in here? Or am I just paranoid? Wait a minute, this place... Sigmund Corp? Did he work for Sigmund? It's the Sigmund guest house, or maybe it's just when he came to sign his contract? Ah, where they wine and dine the geezers into signing up for the service. Sure has been a while since I visited. Looks a bit different from when I was last year, too. Let's check it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, only three memory orbs. So they're calling them orbs in this one instead of links? This looks like an exit. And yet, it is not. God, the, I love the music in this game so much. This whole... It's just familiar enough to give you those nostalgic feels. Can we look at this? No? So are all the memory links going to be inside here? So we can't go any further over here, right? No. Okay. Probably not to the right either. Okay. Oh no, here he is. That's him. We still need links though. Can we get information? Who is the nondescript shadow? What are you doing outside in the cold, Mr. Reeds? Your appointment is about ready. Please, right this way. Alright, first memory link. Sweet. Guys could walk a slight bit faster. Can we bypass you? Apparently so. Good. Alright, another not important enough person to remember. Welcome to the Sigmund Corp guest house. Welcome to the Sigmund Corp guest house. Please have a seat in our living room. Hello. Are we good to go? Why don't you sit back and enjoy some tea first? I need to get back home soon. I'd just like to inquire about your service. Very well. Someone will be here to get you shortly. Uh-huh. No link from that. Light. Colin. I need to get back home soon. Uh-huh. What is your hurry? There's so much to the world, isn't there? Much more than one could explore in a single lifetime. Say, wouldn't it be nice to visit where you've always wanted to go? I've already been there. Once upon a time. Interesting. I feel like we've missed one since we skipped to the very end there. I don't recall the fireplace here looking like that. Well, as we have discussed, memories are malleable, so this is how he remembers it. Maybe not as it is actually. Hello? This photo is taken from the stage's perspective. Exhilarating, huh? Not many people get to experience what it's like to be famous. We sure get a lot of requests for that. So if it floats your boat, 
consider it done. We have to do another one of these. I'm going to go take a nap. It's not so bad. At least we get it done fast and go home early. I have a feeling that his request is the story that we're trying to uncover. It's something very much out of the norm, or it would have been put right out front. If you'd like to choose fame and riches for your last wish, consider it done. Okay, just repeat, fine. And lost control again. You see, our service is really quite simple. You tell us your wish, and we make it happen. Fame, wealth, unreached goals, and secret desires. You name it. We're your genie, Colin. What is your wish? So, if I understand this correctly, you're saying I can't wish for more wishes. I like this guy. You know, I've done and seen a lot in my lifetime. I've been to where I once thought I'd never be, seen what I once thought I'd never see. But in the blink of an eye, suddenly, there's no more time. And I find myself here, just like everyone else. I walk through these doors and I realize that there's still this empty feeling inside me. I don't mean to be ungrateful to the life I've had, but I just want to feel like I've done enough in this world before I go, you know? I want to say I've lived a happy life, and I want to feel like I have few regrets. But somehow, after all that, I still can't. That's why we're here, Colin. Just give us the word, and we'll make it right. Tell us your regrets. What is it that you want us to fix? Regrets. I don't know what to tell you for regrets, but I can tell you what I want. I want you to make me live that fulfilling life I wanted. But I want you to do it without changing anything I've been through. You don't want us to change anything. Colin, changing things is what we do. We change things, and we make them better. That's why you came to us. So we can make it better. We can solve your problems. Everything you wanted but couldn't have in this life, we can give you the chance to get it. But if you want to get something, you need to give up something. So I ask again, what do you want as your last wish? Very well. I want you to give me a fulfilling life while changing as little as possible. And if you have to change something, please just keep the memories of the life with my family intact. So, you want to waive specificity from the contract? With something like that, I hope you know there are no guarantees of result. I'm aware. It's settled then. I'll put our best people on it. Thank you. That's all I ask. Uh-huh. I'm not sure how we're supposed to accomplish that. Trying not to change anything? And... We have free reign over his fate? What kind of a last wish is that? 
I don't even know where to start. I imagine we have to go all the way back through all his memories and get a good gist of how his life was before we could even have any inkling of what it would mean. Eh, we've seen worse. The important thing here is that the boss said we'll put our best people on it. We're their best people, Ava. Booyah! Actually, about that... Never mind. Yeah, you weren't the first choice. You switched with someone, remember? Okay, I'm good. Let's go get the memento. Which is... Best docs in the house. Booyah! You picked the right people for the job. Uh -huh. Is it on him again? Think we should go back to the last memory and ask Colin about what he said here? Can't really expect reliable answers from that, but we might eventually have to try. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, though. Let's just continue on for now. Uh-huh. Got a feeling it's that thing in the room to the right. Here? What a waste. Just sitting here looking pretty. Or not. What is that? Is that one of the... Oh, that's one of the machines they use to go into memories. Okay. Alright, well... Oh, just one more thing. Please don't tell my family. I don't want them to think I'm not content with how things are. Okay, that's good to know before we blow it. I'm guessing it's back out here somewhere. Is this a doorway? No. Okay, that's the same thing again. Generally, we would find the memento. Oh, it's the bread. I see it. I see it glowing. Well, I, I'm guessing it's bread. That's what it looks like. You know, I've been rather impressed. What for? Well, back in the days you kept on yelling dumb juvenilities when shooting the barriers. But recently I haven't heard any Hadouken or Kamehameha or whatnot. It's been rather pleasant and professional. Oh, mm-hmm. Nothing to say to that, Neil? Maybe you have changed. Ooh, sometimes only the current memento rings a bell. So is that a pillow or bread or what? So we have to get all the purple ones together? Oh, it's a cap. Okay. I can't remember what those caps are called. Uh, I know they're sort of Irish in derivation, or that's what I always associate them with. Good to know we don't have to get literally every one of the memories together and disappeared. Uh, this must be when they first moved to the retirement home. I'd better head out now, but before I forget... Here, take this hat, Pops. With the headache you've been getting, you should be more careful of the wind. Not sure that would have anything to do with it? But... I've been telling him that for ages. He never listens. All right, all right. I'll wear it if it stops these multi-directional nagging. It's been quite a while since your thing with Pam didn't work out. Listen, 
I was talking with my old colleague the other day. He's got a daughter named Jenny. You see, she's single and... Look, thanks, but I think I really just need to focus on my career right now. So, you guys gonna go back to feeding the ducks or something? We wouldn't have to resort to that if you visited us more often, you little bastard. Oh, but that hat is 100% cotton. Well, alright, you're off the hook. Drive safe, dear. We'll stay here and keep being overlord of the ducks. Bye, Ma. I'm proud of you. Not for the duck thing, but like... You know what I mean. Don't stay out too long at this time of the year. Fairly healthy relationships there seemed. That kid needs to make us a grandchild. What's wrong with Jenny anyway? Probably nothing, but you know how it is. When you were young, didn't your parents try to push people onto you too? Sure did. It was awkward and forced. Hmm. Sucked all the chemistry out of it for me as well. What are you doing? I'm texting him Ginny's info to set them up. Don't do that. He's driving. Do it after he gets home. Good call. Make sure to include some pictures too. The good ones with lighting coming from the side. No words. Regret. No grandkids. So we're probably going to have to figure out what to change and what to leave the same. A more fulfilling life for mementos this time, huh? Let's see. Can we get more info from these two? Send the pics with no duck face. Yep. Uh, yes, I agree. Duck face is horrible. Alright. Doesn't look like there's really anything out here. Probably can't go into the road. No, we can. Interesting. Nothing over that way. No dead squirrels this time to have to fool around with, looks like. Can we cross over at any time? No, we can't. Hmm. Why did it let me come down here? There's got to be something over here, right? Either that or it's just a tactic to make people like me waste our time. Which is what it appears to be. Great. Can I sneak through the guardrail? Nope. All the way back around. That's what I get for being curious, I suppose. Alright, well we know there are some people over there. We saw them. Near the mailbox looking things. Ah, here's Colin again. Feeding the goose ducks. Alright, cool. No more inner... Oh! Uh... Are you serious? One for each duck? I'm not complaining. Wish there were a whole flock. Yeah, that's weird. Ducks. Let's check our notes really quickly. There's There's been a couple added. They quack things up. Uh-huh. Colin wanted grandkids. To die happy while changing as little as possible. Alright. Okay, not, not a ton of information there. We pretty much had all of that. Let's go over here and see. Is he talking to the lady that we mount out by the duck pond? The one whose husband had already passed? My granddaughter turns five this year. Can you believe it? She's growing big so fast. I'm thinking of making my knitting modular. 
Time really flies, huh? No kidding. I didn't even realize how old I was getting till I broke my other hip. Word of advice. Don't go breaking your hip. Yeah, I've been lucky on that front so far. Seriously, I shouldn't even be out right now. Uh, why are you out right now? It's like just a bag of loose bones rattling around in there, I tell you. Just clanging and clunking and clunking and clanging? How are you even standing up? Uh, I don't know. Most older people who break a hip don't really survive it. Okay, nothing else there. Inside? I don't see an arrow there. Maybe, maybe we just walk. No, there's another Raminta. Oh, there's... Did I just walk right by her? Was she there before? I guess not. It's going to feel really bad if I just walked by her and ignored her completely. What's this? Their calling card. I printed out another. Sigmund Corps. What made you change your mind? I still feel the same way about it. But some days, I wake up and see you on the balcony looking out like that. You don't say it, but I know there's something that still aches you. Tell me, are you happy? Of course I am. I have you and Asher. Then why do you want to go through with their services? Strange that she was making this about her. Just because I'm happy doesn't mean I don't have regrets. Not that it'd be related to you two, anyhow. Call them. But when you go through the procedure and live that new life, just Hold on to something from here. It's not like that, Fia. I won't forget about you. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. I think I forgot to bring duck food. Huh. Me too. Well, that explains her attitude. I told you there was something up with her. You know, she could always sign up with Sigcor for a life where Colin never signed up with Sigcor. <laughs> har har. Hmm. Oh, where is the memento? The letter or the card? Yep, sure is. Alright, well, I think we're going to leave off right here. We can jump right into the next memory at the beginning of the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, let me know in the comments and by leaving a like below. It really does help tremendously. And of course, subscribe if you'd like to see more in the future. I have been Teveron, and until next time, friends, be excellent to each other.